Welcome back to another video guys. So in this one we are fitting an inverter 12 to 12 volt charger the big battery got power cable on that to do that So we've got an inverter to go and fit and we're doing it in a Mercedes Sprinter So we're going to go and carry all this stuff out to the van and we'll lay it all out where we're roughly going to put everything And then we'll figure out all the wire inside the things Our battery we're going to put underneath the rack in in here and I've got a little bracket that will secure that nice and tight and then our charge oh sorry our inverter I think it's going to go up here and potentially our charger as well I have not quite figured out the charger yet I might put the charger up in that corner you can't really see it and then the wires running down that's an option which actually in fact no that is option so I'm going to put the charger up there battery here inverter up there now this is the charger that we're using, so it's a Victron unit It's all Bluetooth so you can connect it to your phone But well, it's 12 to 12, 30 amp So this is one that we're going to fit And this is the inverter we're using, so it is a Novo Pal This is a 3000 watt pure sign, it is 12 volt I've got these in both my vans, but I've got a 24 volt version And I cannot fault them, they're brilliant So we've got a wee LCD screen Comes with like a little remote where you can have it on and off, tells you your battery power, and then it comes off it, that's your lead for it, fuses, recovers, and you get some power cable. Now I'm just trying to gain access to the battery, so I'm going to move that panel, this floor should lift up, the battery is underneath that black plate. As us exposed the battery, so we just need to find a terminal to put our positive on to feed our charger. So we'll just test these. We've got our multimeter, the earth is on the earth, so we'll just go around these and see what one we can get. 12 volts, just know that one, know that one over there. Boom, there we go. So we'll use that first way one as a power feed, and we will just put our earth on to the earth to the charger. And then that way the charger is getting all its power. Now to ensure we run our cable nice and tight, we're just going to tape it together and then put it in this conjunct. It's just basically black protective stuff. So when it goes through the bulkhead and that, it shouldn't have chaff through. So we'll tape all this up so it's basically a two core and then feed it inside this. So that is us, got a good section of that all conjointed up now. So I'm going to feed it through the bulkhead, I'm just going to use one of the vents, feed it through there, under the seat, and get to the battery. We've now got the wire fed through the back of the seat. Through the air vents, I'm now just going to draw a wee hole in the back of the seat in the bottom corner. So, round about here somewhere, and then I can feed the wires in through this plastic and then out to the battery. We've now got a hole in that bottom corner, I don't know how clear that is. We'll get a grommet, if I've got, I think I've got some grommets. Put a grommet in there, if not, I'll put another bit of sort of rubber pipe around the wire just to secure it and stop it chaffing. But we can now feed that through there so you can just start to see our wires coming through there and we'll get the pliers and just pull it the rest of the way through that is us all the way through now so we can put our terminals on these and then run the wire to the back where we're going to put the charger so I've got some cable tied sticky pads so we can secure our wire to the bulkhead but we're just going to give it a wee wipe with just some brake cleaners on a rag first just so the sticky pads stick to it now it's not very clear because I've not got a torch on me but that is it sticky padded on so it's nice and secure runs underneath the seat oh. 
through there, we'll put another couple of sticky pads down here and then into the plastic out the plastic this side here and then we'll send our power over there and then our F will just come onto here that's how it's got the negative side on so we're just using these eyelets they're rated to uh, don't know what they're rated to I think 70 odd amps which we're only pulling 30 so we're using 8 yellow eyelets snap on crimps they're the best crimps for sort of doing like uh, electrical connectors so I've got a big set and I've got a small set which I think is in the back of the van but aye that's what we use for that that is our life now on so we're just going to tighten up the terminal so it's nice and tight anyway after we do that we can put the battery cover back on refit the flooring and then just concentrate on the back in fact no I need to go to the driver's side I need to put an ignition live round but then we can concentrate on the back now that is us got all the flooring back down so we're going to go over to the driver's side and run our ignition wire through it so we've got a box filled with assorted like terminals and pins don't know how clear that is but we can put fuses in them so it's just a case of finding the right one for the size which i think it's this one and then we can connect that on our wire put it in behind the fuse bit and then that gives us a fuse to click onto the ignition and then we can run that wire all the way along to where our charger is going to be now this row here does ignition so i have got my terminal on and i'm just going to push that in the back off number probably 22 so I'll push that back to 22 and that will give us a fuse as as we've got our ignition wire in there well we five amp fuse so we can put that back in there up the back and it should slide back in here a wee bit of persuasion there we go clips in that is that done we can now put a wee cover back on and then that is our wire runs through the back so we'll just tidy that up and then concentrate on the back now to keep everything as tidy as possible we're going to run the wire in underneath here then we'll bring it out up in that end that's us fed all the way underneath there and come out at the other side so we will now put our charger up in here correct that up Download the app, connect it up with the app, set it as a charger, etc. And run our wires out of there onto the battery. And after that, we just need to go for the battery to the inverter. That's the charger up in place. So as you can see, we've got input and output side. And then we've got a wee bit here where our ignition goes. So we'll connect the inputs, plug in our ignition, set this thing up. Then we'll bring our outputs out of there and to the battery but that battery will slide forward so they'll only be coming here so it'll be little short journeys for the wire That is how it's got power, so you can see the green light and our Bluetooth lights on. So we will now just download the Victron Connect app, connect the app to that, and then set that up. So that is our one there. We should be able to connect to that. Now it will ask for your pin, which is, comes with a sticker. So I'll turn this off and out, type in that pin, and then we'll come back. Let's just type that in and we're now connected. So right now it is on power supply mode. We need to change that. So if we go into settings, then the first one's function. Change it to charger. 
which you've now got the green tick and then we can go in and basically just tell this exactly what type of battery it's got what's sort of absorption bulk time like we can, can engine shut down if it's got a smart alternator which i'm sure this does so we can literally just enable all these change them to exactly how the customer wants them done and then that will be it set up that is us completely set this up so we've just changed all our settings for what we want the voltage basically so when the van's voltage reaches a certain point it will start charging so we've just changed them like after a minute it will start charging so it's normally set up to two minutes but we just changed that and then we have our sort of different like we don't want it to bulk any longer than 10 hours just stuff like that it's all just sort of user defined settings so that's fully set up now we can now connect it to the battery i've got this little 90 degree bracket that i'm just going to fit just at the back of the battery there and that should stop the battery sort of sliding about it's held in with the racking as well but that should just stop any excess movement That's that in, and that battery is solid. We've now got our wires for the battery, and we've just put our battery terminals on, so they just go on and they screw, just tighten that cable up in there, and then these will go into our battery charger. Now we're connected, you can see what our input voltage is and our output, so that shows that our battery is charging and we will double check that with the multimeter. Also you'll see it's on absorption, yeah, it's a mouthful, charge. So at first it'll go, I think it goes bulk charge, then it goes to absorption once it hits a certain peak, and then once it goes a wee bit further it'll go to float, but it just maintains sort of that charge. Now the last piece is the inverter. So we just need to run our power cables for the battery back under here, up the side, so the inverter can go round about here somewhere. Now we've got our thick power cable and I've just cable tied it all the way together, basically again making like another loom. So I'm going to, well, I'm not going to connect it to the battery first, I'll connect it to the inverter first. And then have it on the battery, run it under there, up here, and I think he wants it connected here. But I'm going to see if we can put it there because it'll just look a lot neater, tidier, and all oh, right, it'll be the right way around. If I do it that way, it's upside down and that messes with my OCD. So we've decided we're going to mount this oh, this way around here because it's going to look best, tidiest, neatest. So 
I'm going to go for that. I'm going to screw that on there then out and then we'll connect up this side and then connect up our battery. As is on and it is nice and secure now so we'll just feed our wires up here put 90s on them and then connect them into there we've got the negative on and tightened up we put a 90 on a power cable so it's just a case of putting that one on there now as both of them connected we've now got our plastic caps so we'll put them on and it just protects the terminals now we've got plastic fittings all on there now so we just need to connect this to the battery That is our terminals connected, so now if we flick this on, there we go. We have power, so it tells you there, you've got 13.4 volts in, our AC output is 240. It tells you the temperature and all that stuff. That is us all finished then. So we've got our charger up there, battery there all nice and secure, inverter here. All done. So there we go. That is how you wire an inverter up. Well, that's how I wire an inverter up. There'll probably be somebody out there that will say I've done something wrong or know the right way, but everybody's got their own ways to doing it. This way has been tried and tested for me, so that is the way that I do them, and it is all good. So thanks for watching. Remember, subscribe, like, comment. If you've got any questions, anything like that, please leave a message. But that is us, and I'll see you on the next one.